Hello, my name is Will. The cancel -thon is over. Well, for me anyway, but there's a lot. Great videos by everyone involved. I've been watching them all and they've, they've been brilliant and it's been a great discussion. I do wish more people had been involved and there was a lot of people like, I'm gonna support from afar because they didn't, I don't think they wanted the drama or possible drama. And luckily I don't think there has been too much. I mean, there's been a few snidey backhanded comments and subtweets, but there we go. I want to just talk about cancel culture. It's not a full discussion, this is just my thoughts. And I'm not going to go into the positives of cancel culture, because there is a positive side of it. it. There's a very fine line between the positive and negative, but there is a positive side, but there is a negative side, and the negative side comes down to censorship. There's a great saying, control the media that people consume, you control the people. And that is something you see in the negative side of cancel culture. So let's break that down. One person finds something in a book offensive. Other people have not read said book. Other people that have not read said book and main ringleader go after the writer and the publisher. Book gets cancelled. Nine times out of ten, I would like to say people involved in this stuff don't actually read the book. And there's a lot of, like, hive mentality. If a book is not exclusively woke, it doesn't matter who wrote it, gay, black, whatever, um, exclusively woke in a very American-centric point, it's immediately looked down upon or it's cancelled. Also, when you've got the sort of mob mentality where people get fired up and rallied up and it becomes kind of scary. I've seen it happen a lot. And there are times where you're like, I can't believe this is happening. The original cancel form was cancelled because of a woman who put out some tweets and she played a few cards that immediately closed down any discussion and debate. When you play those cards, it becomes almost impossible to get out of it and the original was cancelled and I get the feeling and I know they wouldn't say this publicly and they're probably going to get I'm probably going to get in trouble with this but I get the feeling there was some hurt feelings and a few less than nice things said. When it comes down to it you see a lot of people and again gatekeeping within the community is by 20 something year old women who like their pug dogs and their Starbucks and their Burberry scarf and have the sort of dip dyed hair. That's stereotyping by the way, that's that's a whole other thing. But you know, the, the, the basic booktuber bitch stereotype exists and it's quite real. What happens is you end up with this sort of echo chamber and without, in an echo chamber, no one can have any opinion that is different or the whole notion of, I find this book offensive, therefore you shouldn't read it. I think this echo chamber is really unhealthy. I've got friends from different political opinions. I've got friends who are actually, I know a few people that are politicians in different sides of everything. And I work with people that are very politically spectrum. I work with people that, that I'm very lucky to work with in that sense, because we have discussion and debate. But you know what? You can be friends and be nice to people with different opinions on things because we're human and you don't have to be an asshole. And I think, and I do get it. I mean, people do want their wish fulfillment SJWYA and there's nothing wrong with that. I like some of that too. I like some wish fulfillment in books every now and then. But I also come from the standpoint that there's a lot of people that just want to see themselves reflected back in books and I don't want to read myself. I don't want to read a gay man in their 20s and 30s going through life. I want to read stuff that takes me on adventures and takes me to other places and places I'll never see, places that aren't real, places that exist within a writer's head. And I think the problem with Twitter as well, because you've only got so many characters, is that it you can't read context, you can't read uh, feelings, you can't read emotions behind it. And Americans do not get sarcasm. There's no way around that. Americans don't get sarcasm in the slightest and that causes a lot of problems. Like, I think a lot of my American viewers don't get my humour. Like, there was this whole drama with me. I hate YA and I'm shaming YA readers. And I'm like, no, that was a joke about myself. I think a lot gets lost in translation. I think cultural differences. I think how we speak, how we emote. Because I have a problem with Americans telling when they're being serious because, or when they're not asking questions because they always, they always go up at the end of a sentence like this. So when they're talking to you, it sounds like they're asking a question. I think cancel culture comes down to control. And I think if you control the media people consume, you can control them. And the whole, I want to look woke. I want to look like I'm reading diverse books. I will do stuff just for brownie points with people happens. 
a lot but it becomes down to where do you stand and where do you sit with all this like i find it uncomfortable especially when people go after like writers personally and a twitter pylon a social media pylon is absolutely horrific and it's not a way to go about things if you genuinely have concerns deal with it like there was some controversy over a male booktuber a few years ago and no one showed all these receipts apparently they had some vague jokey comment on a youtube video does not constitute cancelling them no one showed anything no one put anything out there you can't cancel someone because you disagree with them and you can't cancel someone because you find something offensive in media and i see it a lot and it's only within the ya spectrum of readers this whole notion we're protecting young readers when actually most people reading YA are in their 20s ya i think has become like the new pulp fiction type quick reads to be honest I think YA AG did a brilliant video on it, that YA has been stolen from young people. I don't support cancel culture. Even if I necessarily agree with the person being cancelled, I can't support it because there is a way of going about things and most of the time a Twitter pile on, a social media pile on and drama and naysaying and subtweeting is not how you deal with it. I think people within the community need to remember they're, act they're not activists. They are not standing there with a bulletin going, this person, they're not actually doing anything. They're sitting there with their nice iPhones, drinking their Starbucks, playing with their MacBooks, and um, putting a hashtag on a tweet. That doesn't make you an activist, that makes you a keyboard warrior. Yes, I can see the positives of cancel culture, especially when people go after writers and their personal life and put really personal vile comments on the internet about them that really shouldn't be a thing. As always, my name is Will. I'm the Board Book Geek. I do three videos a week, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you guys are interested in what I do, please like and subscribe. Bye guys.